Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own due diligence. Uh, so for those of you who do not know, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, business, economics and law. So through this channel, I would like to improve your trading skills, uh, focusing on reducing your risk, increasing your knowledge and improving your strategy. So I will be carrying out some stock analysis of the latest uh, stocks to consider investing in and I will also be providing a short five minute lesson at the end of each um, uh, analysis to uh, improve your strategy. So please stay tuned till the end. Okay, so quick recap on uh, previous day's trading. So uh, it wasn't a tremendous day in trading. However, there were a couple of shares which uh, did exceptionally well for myself. One of them I will be going through shortly. The other one that uh, started to recover for me yesterday was Beam Global. If you refer back to my previous videos, this is one I have talked about in terms of uh, I've made an investment for the long term, but I am uh, at the moment uh, in a loss on this and uh, the share has been going down quite a bit. I do consider this now to be in the buy zone. So for, the, for those of you uh, who are considering making an investment, this is not a penny stock. This is a stock listed on the NASDAQ. So ticker symbol is B double -E -M. Uh, Yesterday it closed 6.89% uh, up. Previous day it was 10, about 10% 10 down. So uh, uh, in my opinion now, the momentum seems to be moving uh, upwards so it could be an opportunity to buy in terms of a strike price for this uh, if you are considering investing uh, if it goes below 60 I would strike so consider a good buy anything below $60 it's currently trading at 63 that's also a good uh, buy price for, uh, for the long term but best price would be below $60 Okay, so let's start with the first stock analysis. First stock analysis is for the investment I currently have in um, Cloud Commerce, ticker symbol CLWD. So just a quick outline for uh, viewers in terms of what this company does. Many of you may be familiar with this company, but C, uh, Cloud Commerce uh, is a global provider of cloud-driven e-commerce and mobile commerce solutions. It has been one of the trending stocks quite recently, having a tremendous run up. Uh, I was an uh, investor in this uh, previously, uh, just a, a short term trader for two days. So I'm going to go over my trading strategy and how I did that shortly. Before um, I do that, I want to just look at what happened yesterday with Cloud Commerce. This is the stock where I had a 56% I saw a 56% rise in its uh, price yesterday. It closed at 12 cents, just over 12 cents yesterday, which is 56% rise. So this was uh, one of the um, positive uh, investments yesterday. Uh, so let's have a look at why. So the artificial, if you refer to the news uh, released yesterday, uh, we saw that the artificial in intelligence delivers for cloud commerce. So uh, AI Advertising Incorporated, a wholly owned subsidiary of the company, is already using its AI-enabled Swarm solution to achieve impressive results for its clients. So this is positive uh, news for cloud commerce. This uh, prompted the late increase in uh, share price. Uh, so there was a, a quite a little bit of a rally at the end. Uh, and uh, it, there was uh, this caused the, the share price to increase. So this is also a penny stock. It's um, very, very volatile. Uh, in terms of my investments, uh, let's have a look at my investments and trading history with um, Cloud. Okay, so let's have a look at my trading history and analysis of how I uh, traded in Cloud um, Commerce. Okay, so I initially first purchased this stock on the 11th of January 2021 for the price of $6. So if you have a look on the uh, buy uh, uh, confirmation, market buy confirmation there. And then I sold this stock, if you have a look at the buy confirmation there, two days later for $0.14. Cents. So there's, a, there's a, a profit in excess of 100% over period of two days 
uh, I have again just bought this stock and I've just recently bought this stock uh, you'll see again here on the 21st of January uh, and this is at uh, seven almost eight cents so 0 0.07980 cents uh, so let's have a look at the graphical analysis of of my trading with cloud so this is the strategy I used um, let's have a look okay so ha please refer to the graph so if you look at the first buy I carried out around about uh, six cents uh, this um, was just for a short period of two days if you can see before I purchased there were many many other investors that got onto this much much quicker than I did um, and uh, this was uh, trending at the time uh, I did come in a couple of days late uh, and uh, one of the reasons for that I was monitoring it it was very volatile very risky uh, and it was um, it was also uh, one of those shares where we had to wait and see and, and make a judgment so I made the judgment there I stepped in at six cents uh, the price shot up over two days in excess of a uh, hundred percent so you can see there I top I sold there just at the top over two days giving me a profit of a hundred percent the reason why I sold is I did get some um, kind of uh, messages and some uh, insights into uh, a potential fall imminently uh, so I made the decision there to sell I was in 100% uh, profit I did not use a stop loss I just sold the whole amount in excess of 100% return uh, and the next day it did not fall but it, it, it the, the increase reduced and you can see after I sold it still ran up a little bit more about 20% uh, and then the decline happened so it, 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 I think in hindsight I made a fairly good decision uh, there's probably no such thing as the perfect investor who buys right at the bottom sells right at the top and then rebuys right at the bottom that kind of investor does not exist we don't you know if, if there was such a person who knew the exact uh, top and bottom points then it, life would be much much more easier so I made a judgment based on um, uh, information I had uh, and more recently if you just look at to the right of the graph I've just purchased again uh, as I purchased it there was a short decline in the share price I held on because I believe in the fundamentals of the company are good the indications I had on my second buy there is the the, the sharp decline has, has uh, stabilized uh, it seems to be consolidating so I stepped in there was a short fall uh, according to where I purchased my uh, share price but the rewards have just been received yesterday based on the good news and uh, my return is, is now uh, positive again so very pleasing for that uh, going forward uh, with cloud commerce again uh, I will probably looking to uh, possibly cash out in terms of some profits or maybe cash out the whole amount uh, it's a risky stock it's a penny stock so we need to be very very careful with this if you are considering investing please do your own due diligence but um, in terms of a strike price right now if you catch this below nine cents then I would consider that a strike anything below 0 0.09 so consider that a buy but use your stop loss and consider only investing a small amount okay my second stock analysis is uh, a brand new company which i was aw made aware of um, yesterday so um, i carried out some quick uh, due diligence uh, so this company is kwbt tick symbol kwtbt uh, keyword biotech products so uh, it was a um, company I invested in so basically having a look at what they do so you can qu carry out some quick due diligence on the Trading212 Webull or Robinhood app uh, just going under company details and we can see this is a company that manufactures, distributes and markets biotechnical technical products for agriculture uh, this is a growing area they're also involved in developing biofertilizer this is also a growing area and um, it's it's uh, has a market cap of two million so it's it's not a huge company 
uh, and then you we can have a look at the financials of that through the trading 212 app as well so if we have a look at the financials there you can see uh, this is something a little bit positive because it, it's it shows uh, revenue is increasing by 21 percent um, so obviously this this certainly this business is in a growth area and then we can also quick carry out some quick due diligence on the trading 212 app by having a look at the balance sheet we can see that the assets are also greater than the liabilities so this puts a company in a better position in terms of protecting it against liquidation so there's a, a smaller risk of the company uh, collapsing and not being able to pay its debts because it, it has more it has more assets so this is a, a little bit more of a stronger sign for an investor and the other thing we had to carry out some research on is why is the share price um, increasing so we can see that this business uh, focuses on the market in China uh, and obviously as we know China is has the population which is the greatest in the world so uh, there is going to be a trend towards vegetarian food uh, that's happening everywhere in the world uh, and I, I believe this will also move towards China as well. So this business is a perfect opportunity to take advantage of that. And uh, we can see from the news article that these that this this may be already happening. So uh, tick symbol KWBT is possibly a business that could grow in the long term. However, as it is still a penny stock, it's going to be volatile. You have to do your own due diligence. Uh, I did invest yesterday um, and um, overall this uh, stock uh, on the day went up by 67% which was fantastic. I didn't catch it at the beginning but as soon as I was made aware of it I did make my investment. I tried to catch it at the dip. Uh, my buy price was uh, 0 0.0429 cents and it closed at 0. 0518 so my return uh, on this investment so far is 20 percent which is which was also excellent uh, going forward as this is a penny stock i will be using stop loss for protection and i will be also considering um, selling if uh, there are any signs of uh, sharp decline so uh, in terms of a strike price if you're looking to buy and invest in kwbt at this moment it's very very volatile anything could happen it could just shoot up and you may not see this price but based on uh, where it is at the moment if you see this anywhere below 0 0.04 cents consider uh, making a small investment in this and please do some research have a look at it it's um, very very volatile stock but worth worth uh, looking into Okay, so now it's quick uh, time for uh, lesson of the day. Quick recap on yesterday. We looked at uh, using bar chart analysis to improve your trading. Uh, so please refer back to that. So today we're going to look at effective use of the stop limit order. So this can be done in the uh, Trading 212 app and also in the Weeble or in the Robin Hood app. For the, some, there will be a, a, a similar option there. So you click on sell. Then uh, you click on the at the end stop limit order. So we're going to use KWBT as an example. So your stop price 0 0.04 would be below the current trading price. So this would be the SAT price that you would first consider cashing out. And the limit price would be below the stop price. So this could be uh, zero. In this example, we've got 0 0.03. So the current share price is 0 0.05 if it goes to 0 0.06 if it goes to 0 0.08 then the stock will not sell however if it falls to 0 0.04 then the stop loss will be triggered your sale will go through automatically and you will not need to do this manually so this protects your profits and some in uh, when uh, some cases it can also protect your loss as well if you are trading at loss so let's have a quick look at alternative strategies uh, if you refer to the graph here, uh, we've got buy point one, we've got buy point two and different points A, B, C, D. And then at the top right side, we've got the jackpot price where that gives you the ultimate return of, let's say, 100%. So to get from there, from get from buy point one to uh, jackpot price, what you have to, if you buy at buy point one, uh, one of the risks is as soon as you buy, 
the share can go down so you're immediately in loss so therefore you have to just either make a decision limit your loss and cash out or keep your stock and uh, in the belief that it will increase and therefore um, be a little bit more patient uh, and, um, and and monitor the, the change so at buy point two it's a similar thing uh, if you buy there you can also have a similar situation you're buying at the at the, at the peak price uh, and you are at risk as soon as you buy the price will drop so uh, effective use of the uh, stop limit order here would be to allow for these movements up and down within your stop lo loss uh, order to get to the jackpot price so in other words if your stop loss is uh, too close to the current price then it will probably just cash out and it will be unlikely you get to the jackpot price so what you have to do is allow for that movement so bear that in mind and one final strategy that i recommend everybody doing is when you use this stop limit order as the share price goes up as your profits increase what i would also recommend doing is increasing your stop limit order as well so if the share price got as has gone up by 20% you increase your stop limit order as well and you gradually bring it up so you keep monitoring it and moving up okay that's the end of the lesson uh, thank you for watching please uh, join me again in the next video